Today we're going to learn about transdermal patches. Are these patches just like a nicotine patch or a smoker's patch? Yeah, uh, pretty much. And of course, right now we're not looking at a nicotine patch, we're looking at a tetrahydrocampanol patch. How do these patches work? It's suspended in a sort of alcohol jelly sort of uh, sort of balance there, made to just cut through the cut through the skin barrier, not to cause any damage or any irritation, but to get through and to the bloodstreams as fast as possible. It triggers your endocrine system here, then all those good endocannabinoids are distributed throughout your body. Where would it be a great place to put a patch? This is actually pretty fascinating to me, and I would never have believed it if a nurse had not told me this myself. The best one is the top of the foot. The top of the foot is very thin skin, lots of exposed veins and, and arteries. Second, right above your ankle. The third is your wrist. Again, lots of exposed veins and arteries. And the fourth is right behind your ear of all the weirdest places in the world. How long would you keep a patch on behind your ear or on your wrist? It delivers medicine pretty effectively for up to 12 hours. Would you want to wait 12 hours before you reapply another patch? Yeah, you'd want to give it a little bit of a window. What we're talking about here is letting our liver scrub our blood and so you don't overwhelm yourself. With all of the patches, all of them have THC. Not all of them. We do have pure CBD oil. But if they're working at a job where they're getting drug tested, even that CBD could potentially show now, a little... Now CBD is processed from a marijuana plant and most likely carries with it a trace amount of THC. Thank you, Lance, for showing me all about these transdermal patches. I've learned a ton. Come back anytime. Thanks. I'm Courtney Callahan with The Green Light.